competition. Who do you think is going to take it today? Uh, I'd like to see either Trevor Meyer take it just because he had it the past three years. Either him or Marty Copa because Marty's got, he's got some of the most original tricks. I'd like to see either of those guys take it. Again, Sam Brady, you with us out here in the Flatland area. Let's hear for Alex Jumelin. Here comes Alex starting off on the front wheel again. Check out this move. Such a difficult balance of position. Stepping up to the handlebars right there. Look at that move. An original trick from Alex Jumelin. Keeping the action rolling for you on the front wheel. Watch as he jumps and spins and twists all at the same time. Many times going up high with a decade to ride out of that nice combination there. Strong combo for Alex Jumelin. Setting up here on the back wheel this time. Watch this one, spastic upside down wheel. He steps up to the pedal. No pegs used on that move. Jumps and switches his feet. He never touches with his other hand. And out of that move, Alex Jumelin is on fire, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Alex, unbelievable combination from the French rider. Let's hear it for Mr. Michael Steingraber. Hang on, Mike. Yeah, getting out of that move. Looking over to the judges' table. Smile on his face after that one. Let's see as Mike sets up one more time with some gold anodized pegs on that bicycle. Down on the back wheel with such a smooth style right here. Look at the balance and control behind the back. Keeping the action going. Stepping to the other side. Once again, San Francisco. Give it up for Michael Steingraber. Yeah, Mike. Another solid run. You got 10 seconds left, Mike. He's gonna throw down maybe one more trick here, San Francisco. Let's get behind the German rider riding for Dragonfly and Van Shoes. Taking it here to the front wheel to end things up. Look at these switches and twist the bike behind him. Once again, no brakes on the bicycle. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Steingraber. Are you happy with your riding? I'm not too happy. The judges put me in first place. I don't know why, but I hope I can do a little better in the second run. Our next rider up, ladies and gentlemen, the only U.S. of A. rider out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, Mr. Trevor Meyer. All of our riders have so much balance. It's unbelievable the amount of time they spend on the bicycle. Trevor to the other side of the bicycle with the back wheel inside spinning circle, twisting and turning on that back wheel. Trevor with another switch right there. Trying to get up and out of this move and see if he can get things going on that back tire, keeping the balance going at all times. I really don't even look at it like I'm the winningest rider. I'm just another rider out there in, in my book anyway. You know, I just I just want to ride good for myself. That's that's the most important thing. And riding out to that front wheel and a nice first combination right there as he sets up for his second combo. He just sitters out here anywhere from five, maybe up to 50 tricks or more. What we call a link or a combination in flat land. This trick right here called the Turbine Death Truck. Throwing it down with some unreal balance on the back wheel. A very difficult trick, a tricky action event of that Turbine Death Truck. Solid run right there for Trevor Meyer in front of the score of 93.0. Hiding for a dig it out of Finland, Helsinki. This name is Mr. Marty Ropa. This name is Mr. Marty Ropa. Marty starting off here, this guy has so many difficult tricks. Likes to get a couple moves under his belt and starts throwing down some of the most difficult tricks in the history of the sport. Look at that jump right there as he switches the bars in front of him landing in that coasting wheelchair. Yeah, Marty, look at that action right there. No hesitation, right back to the pedals. And Marty, you've got about 10 seconds left. Once again, San Francisco, let's make some noise for the finish rider, Mr. Marty Guapa. Oh, going down hard right there. Marty says, I'm safe. No hander, Lander. Give it up for Marty Guapa going down hard on that flat. What can we expect in the second round? Uh, even harder. Harder. Breaks. Are you wearing the tie-dye? Is that, you know, for, you know... That's a good luck shirt. Cleared. We're going to go ahead and get our riders out here once again. They're going to be throwing it down with the second and final runs. San Francisco, let's make some noise for Mr. Nathan Pananzik. This guy definitely has the moves to move up into one of the first place positions. Look at Nathan Pananzik up there on the pedal on the back wheel. Inside spinning circle. In a trick we call the stick V or caboose. 
Each one of these tricks has their own name, usually given to them by the person that makes up the trick. Come on, San Francisco, let's hear it for Nathan Pananzik. Going down some very difficult tricks, no back breaks on the bicycle out there. This entire combination has been done on the back wheel, very difficult to do. So many positions he puts the bicycle in as well as his body. Once again, Sam Fran, give it up for Nathan Pananzik. This guy's on fire out there. You're in third right now. Yeah. Um, just depends, obviously, on how everybody else does. So I've done what I can do and hope that uh, I'll stay in third. Any predictions of who could actually take this? Marty. Nobody messed up a couple times in his first run. Trevor had a perfect run, and Marty's still first. Well, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Mr. Andrew Ferris. Pick right here with the cross-legged G-turn action. And this is more of the technical moves. Flipping to the other side of the bicycle here, all on the front wheel. Come on, San Francisco, let's get behind Andrew Ferris. Yeah, Andrew, look at that combination right there. Very, very difficult moves coming from you. He might even go for it again. Pretty much pulled that trick off. Uh, it's just been one thing after another. Today I went for my run and couldn't get the music right. Then it wasn't loud enough. And once one little thing goes wrong with me, everything falls apart. And I couldn't, I couldn't get it back together. Disappointed on the whole year, actually. But next year, <laughs> look out. <laughs> look out. Do you have any like crazy superstitions before you ride? I used to, and I used to do better. So maybe I should bring him back, you know? Because I gave him up. And now look where I am. If somebody has an extra back wheel to they could loan for Trevor Meyer, he had his back axle brake, that'd be very appreciated. You can find yourself over here near the judges' table. Thank you. Michael Steingrabber currently in that fourth place position. Looking to have the tricks to do so here in this second and final run. Let's see how he does. Once again, no brakes on the bicycle, making each and every trick so difficult and so precise. You designed your own handlebars, didn't you? Tell me about that. Yeah, um, I came up with the idea that I want handlebars that are the same folks. So I turn them around. There's no gooseneck. It's just the same feel always. That's what I need for flat and riding. Make some noise for the German Dragonfly van driver, Mr. Michael Steingraber. Starting off on the back wheel here with his first combination, Trevor Meyer. Just caught up there a little bit on the back wheel with a slight mistake. About 70 seconds, had a bicycle problem right before his run. It looks like he's back on course and ready to go. Well, my second run, my, I was just practicing in the back, warming up like I always do, and sure enough, I broke an axle, so I ended up borrowing as well, getting the wheel, you know, rushing and hurrying, and I finally got it together just before my run. That's Mr. Trevor Meyer. Out of the UK, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Mr. Phil Dolan. Yeah, Phil starting to throw it down there with the combination. Looks like he's going to set up with the handlebars backwards, getting set up once again, San Francisco. Yeah, Phil, keeping the action going on the front wheel, throwing it down with some unbelievable moves here. <laughs> keeping opposing action going for you all on the front wheel, and you've got about 10 seconds left for Phil Dolan, who's got an awesome run going, San Francisco. All right, San Francisco, it looks like we're ready for the final rider of the day. Let's make some noise for the finish rider, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Marty Guapa. Marty has so many difficult tricks trying to hang on. Look at the balance that this guy has. Taking it to the front wheel here. Let's see if we can pull off this move. Marty Guapa, the finish rider, throwing it down. Changed his style up quite a bit here in the past couple of years. Watching he goes from no speed whatsoever, the right angle, spinning action, no hand it even. Marty Clover with an original move, and he pulls out of that trip. San Francisco, California. Make some noise for Marty Clover with one of the most unreal tricks in competition. And let's hear it for all ten of our finalists out here in the competition. Awesome. Marty, you just dethroned three-time X Games champion Trevor Meyer. I just tried my best, and I, I did it. I think Marty deserved first. He had by far had the hardest tricks. Trevor, I saw do a couple things that I've never seen before. But uh, Marty, I mean, battling no hand to death drug, just some crazy kick flip stuff, you know, a lot of new school stuff. Marty definitely rocked the house. Would you even say he raised the roof? I would say he blew it off. <laughs>